You don't need to own the properties. You don't need to pay massive deposits to buy properties. You don't have to wait for solicitors, oh, solicitors, solicitors to help you get the sales over the line, estate agent fees, all of those sort of things. You don't have to do any of that. You don't have to get involved in any of that. The properties are not your properties. You're managing the properties. You're looking after the properties as if they're your own. And you need to make sure you know what you're doing. And we help people with that. We have the Rent to Rent Business Builder, which can take you from complete novice to building up an HMO, Rent to Rent Business. We also have this ultimate service accommodation business builder training program as well that'll help you set up, manage and run service accommodation, not just in HMOs, but in a whole host of other strategies as well. So we are here to help you at The Property Unleashed. So do visit thepropertyunleashed.com and pick up the free eBooks that we have there for you. HMO Business Builder, we have an eBook for that. And of course, we have the ultimate service accommodation as well as a deal analyzer to make sure that your deals are good deals. So check out thepropertyunleashed.com once you've watched this video. So let's make sure that we know what we're doing. And of course, we don't have to buy the properties. So if you're looking at starting this as a business, let's just say for argument's sake, you haven't got any money. This is a great business to start bringing in money so that you can buy properties later on or other businesses or whatever it is that you want to buy. But you don't need massive, massive amounts of money. When you're starting out, I still see a lot of people actually get caught up saying, I need 10 grand, I need 20 grand to start this off. I show people how to do this for 500 quid at the end of the day. Yes, you do need some money. This isn't a no money down strategy by any means or a no money down business. You will need some money, but you don't necessarily have to have all that money to hand. You could potentially borrow the money. You could get a loan for the money at the end of the day because this is going to be a business and a business needs to have cash flow. So if you know and you get predictable in the cash that you've got coming in, then of course, if you did go out there and borrow some money or get a loan or anything like that to help you scale this business, it is safe in the knowledge that you know what's coming in, what reoccurring income you'll have month on month.